Hello, uh, I'm Joel Gethin Lewis. And I'm Pete Helicar. And together we are Helicar and Lewis. And here we are today in the Turbine Hall with the world premiere of the Hello Cube. It's actually a partnership between Tate and Louis Vuitton Young Arts Project and Recreative, which is part of Louis Vuitton Young Arts Project. Basically, we started to talk about how we could bring that partnership and we could bring digital into the gallery space together. I think that's the thing that we always try to do is we try to use technology in a lot of our projects, but we try to do it in a way that's magical. Rather than screaming that it's a technology demo, it just so happened that one day the Hello Cube turned up in the middle of the turbine hall and people started interacting with it and it started responding to them. Uh, the Hello Cube is a responsive installation that exists in two separate spaces. It exists here in the turbine hall as an object that responds to voice and noise but it also exists in the social world as well, social networks. So you can control it via Twitter. So for instance, if I messaged at the Hello Cube purple, the interior of the cube would change to purple and I'd also be messaged back with an image showing that response. So it's almost as if every time you message at the Hello Cube, you're making a unique artwork just for yourself between you and the Hello Cube. The cube itself was inspired by a piece of print work by Yoko Sama and she also did some printed mirror. Originally we thought of it as printed mirror but actually what we did in the end was we created this lattice work and then we set the mirror into it so we kind of flipped it on its head a little bit. There's four separate scenes drawn, textured, spots and cells and each of those refer to a different moment in Yayoi Kasama's work. The cube is made up of a computer uh, linked to four directional microphones that are also fitted inside the base. Then we've got a camera working in the space as well, right on the interior, pointing into the infinity. So that's the camera that's being fed up live to, uh, to the space here in the turbine hall, but that's also the source for images that it sends out via Twitter. We've taken inspiration and, and, and direction from the, all the teams at Recreative. So we've held a series of workshops with uh, kids all over London and they've contributed their ideas for what the Hello Cube should do as well. So that's been one of the really exciting things about the project is that we're bridging all these different communities. So there's a real mix, a real mix. There's a mix of her work, our work and new things that we'd like to make and then also people from the Open Frameworks community putting their kind of creative ideas into. And that's an important aspect of the Hello Cube is that it's, it's got this viral nature because everything is being conducted over this social network. As soon as any of those interactions happen, any of the person's followers will also see those interactions and then they'll tell their friends and their friends and their friends and their friends. So trying to rely on these network effects of these social networks is something that as artists we're very excited about exploring. And that's the, that's the juice, you know, that's when it's nice, when people kind of engage with the work. Because that's the, that's, that's the point, is, you know, we're, this idea of putting people in the moment and then being kind of enthralled and enjoying the, the interaction, that's, that's, what, that's where the fun is.